The first sort of thing I did was buy myself a taser. I think I have like three bottles of pepper spray now. If I want to go shopping or if I want to walk to Main Road, I never go by myself. I even don't feel completely safe if it's just me and one other girl. It has to be like a group of people. I have like a 300,000 watt taser. I have someone, rather my boyfriend, walk me to campus every single day. You don't honestly don't know if you're going to be safe or not, even if it's surrounded by your friends. I bought a whistle. I have a pocket knife as well. A friend of mine and myself were um, near Forest Hill, so that's a UCT race. We were actually robbed at gunpoint. Since then, I've been very vigilant. I just don't walk to campus. I was actually very centered on doing a lot of things on my own. I found it really difficult to um, still pursue that with everything that's happening. So now, for example, my boyfriend who I live with, I come with him every morning to the jammy because I don't want to be alone. I can't walk anywhere alone like I used to. Even if it's down the street to get my groceries, I just feel unsafe. My mom got pepper spray for me and I carry that in my handbag. And I also have another one in my car. If I happen to get into an Uber alone, I never sit at the back. I'm looking at the driver, I'm looking at the type of the car, looking in the back seat to make sure nobody's like lying there, like checking the boots. And I make sure that child lock is off. I also have a lot of tracking apps. It starts in the morning when I decide what to wear. For instance, I'll never wear a crop top. Before I leave the house, I kind of do a check. I call it an access check. I assess my clothes, whether what I'm wearing is allowing easy access or not. Like if I'm wearing a dress or shorts, make sure that I'm wearing an extra pair of like tight shorts underneath because it's just an extra barrier to get through. So it just depends on how I look as to what measures I'm going to take. My identity is queer. When my hair was longer and it was pink, I was sexually harassed way more because I was more feminine. When I had my hair shorter, I mean, I was still sexually harassed, but it was like, oh, I'm still attracted to you, but you kind of look butch but I'm so well done for being pretty enough. I always look back, like, okay, who's walking behind me? If someone comes at me, how can I run out? Like, how will I fight? I've kind of got escape routes planned. On the way home, I actually plan, like, how I would go about defending myself if anyone did try anything. Every single Uber trip I get into, I share with my mother and my sister, some of my friends as well. I've got um, tracking apps. I really do avoid going out by myself, even during the day. And at nights, I'd rather just stay indoors. It's an everyday thing, an all-the-time thing, a have-to-be-sure kind of thing. Every day is a fear for me. 